pulmonary embolism is obstruction of blood vessels of the lungs by clots carried by blood circulation usually from the legs it is a serious life threatening condition and hence trying to prevent it is very important clots can also migrate from blood vessels of the tummy but that is not easy to prevent blood clots can form in the veins or blood vessels returning deoxygenated blood to the lungs for enrichment with oxygen though the heart pumps blood to the whole body it has no mechanism for bringing the blood back to it this work is usually taken care of by muscles in other parts of the body when you move your limbs the muscles contract and compress the veins which are thin walled blood vessels this helps to return the blood returning from the cells of the body after usage of oxygen back to the heart muscles in the legs have the most important role in this as they are much more powerful than the muscles of the arms when this function is lost as when you are bedridden after an operation delivery or any other major illness blood can stagnate in the veins mostly of the legs and tummy this leads to clot formation in the veins tendency for clot formation can increase in the body after an operation or delivery as a protective mechanism to prevent blood loss women taking birth control pills may have a higher clotting tendency due to certain hormones contained in the pill clots can also form in the leg veins when you sit crouched up for a long period as during long haul flights occasionally this may occur if you travel in a car with very little leg space for prolonged period as well in case of flights it has been called economy class syndrome as the leg space is less in economy class compared to business class so it is clear that the simplest way to prevent clot formation in the legs is to move them as much as possible in a person who is walking about you don't have to bother about it as it comes naturally but when you are bedridden or crouched up in a vehicle you have to move it with a conscious effort though it is quite simple to do the benefits are much more than you think movements of angles can be easily done during travel whenever possible move your knee as well as it involves more powerful muscles and can pump more blood back to the heart same applies to persons taking rest for medical reasons you can move angles and knees as many times as humanly possible of course those who have a fracture in the leg bones will have difficulty in doing this and doctors will prescribe blood thinners to prevent blood clots other methods used to prevent clots while in hospital are specially made compression stockings and mechanical devices using a cuff which will intermittently compress the legs by inflating them in a bedridden person at home who cannot move the legs due to weakness caregivers can take turns in moving the legs as much as possible to prevent clot formation this is highly effective if you are a motivated caregiver medical advice should be sought in those with fractures and other diseases of the legs as to how much passive movements can be given and how to avoid pain during movements in all medical situations please ask your doctor during hospital stay itself about these aspects so that care can be made appropriate to the individual simple movements of the angles which can be done even by a frail caregiver like the spouse of an old person also goes a long way in preventing blood clots in the legs remember that by preventing blood clots in the legs you are preventing a life threatening disease called pulmonary embolism in which oxygen level of blood can fall markedly as the old saying goes prevention is better than cure thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video
kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.